Okay, let's go to the answer. Uh, okay, this first question is quite direct. Eh? Because they ask you which statement are correct. Okay, you will notice here, this is connected wrongly, right? Because, so this one won't light up. This one is negative. The short one is negative. The long is positive. So this also won't light up. So both circuit P and Q, the bulbs will not light up. Okay, then you notice, uh, I use another annotation color. This box, these two uh, batteries are connected in series. Can you see? This is minus joined to a plus. So this one is equivalent to two batteries lighting. And similarly, this is minus, this is plus. So circuit W and Y are lit up by two batteries connected in series. Let's check here. This one is very direct. So actually, these three, these three of them, right? Circuit S, T, and R, they are lit by batteries connected in series, two batteries connected in series. So the answer is one. Okay. So one means A is correct. W and Z are equally bright. Okay. And then D. D is this bulb V and this won't light up. So this reason here, actually there are two possible reasons you can state. One, you can state that, that's mean this reason is for your, this statement. So why W and Z are equally bright? So you can say that both circuit S and T are being lit up by two batteries connected in series. And then circuit P and Q do not light up because the batteries are connected in the wrong direction. Okay, next. Okay, this one a bit tricky if you see carefully, right? This answer is actually, they say which have at least one bulb lit up. Actually, it's everyone. <laughs> okay, everyone have at least one bulb lit up. Okay, some students thought that A won't light up, but actually A, if you see carefully, a, right? So this is negative. This is positive. Okay, this is positive, right? If you see carefully, yeah. And then this side also is a positive. So these two batteries are connected in series. So you touch the metal casing here. The current goes through here. Okay, then you notice there's been this bulb here. Let's say this bulb A. The positive side is touching the metal casing. And then the negative side you go through here is touching the metal tip. So remember right, in primary five, you learn right, as long as the metal casing and the metal tip is being connected to, by the different polarity of a battery, it will light up. So same for the rest. Huh? So at least one will light up. Okay, this one answer is quite straightforward. Answer is two. Okay, any problem? I think all of you can do right. If you, but only one switch is closed. So P and Q. So can you see P and Q? P and Q. So one switch is closed. Only S1 switch is closed. So you close this here. You see this one? And S2 is closed. Okay. They say only, I should have to take turn. So if you see, if only. Uh, only S1 is closed, right? So this one, this part will be lit. And then P and Q. So you satisfy. Huh? Can you see it satisfy the condition? Next, you erase this. Then you draw the other one. Let's say the other one is closed, right? This part. Then this one open. So the current will flow through. Flow through here. Go through here. Go through here. Go through here. So... Satisfy this one. So answer is two. Okay. Okay, number four. Okay, number four, I think most of you can get it correct, right? Answer is four. Okay, because they say definitely true. So four is B and C. B and D, sorry. Okay, okay. you can see here, right? This one is a result experiment carried out to find out whose car consume more electricity. Okay, whose car? So Fiona car is using two battery. The it can last ten hours. Okay, so they say Fiona car contain consume less electricity than, than Gretel because Gretel's only seven. 
So this is the same amount. This one is the one you measured. And then Greta's car consumed less electricity than Hendrick. Okay, because this one is seven hour, right? So seven hour remain the same, but this one need three. So answer is four. Okay. Okay, number five, if you follow the instruction, right? In which order must you close the switch so that bulb A light up first? So there's a condition, uh, light up first, followed by B and C. Okay, so there's an order involved. Uh. So this one, you must be careful. Okay, so if you do it correctly, you should get four. Let's try. If you close switch one, switch one, right? So you can see the circuit here, this part. So the current will flow through, ah, touch A, can you see? A will light up first. So A first, right? Then you erase, okay? Then now you close switch three, switch three. So the current will flow here, go through B. Okay, how do you see? Okay, you, oh, okay. assuming that switch one is closed, huh? So this question is assuming this is closed. So just now this is closed, A light up, right? So you close switch three, right? So the current will go through here and come back. Okay, then I change another color. Now you close switch two. Okay, switch two will light up, which one? C, lah. okay, A, B, C. So answer is quite, quite straightforward. Okay, this question, many students get it wrong. Eh? So you must be careful. Okay, because here they say, which two circuit would have the same number of bulbs lead when bulb X blows? That's in bulb X fuses. So the working is very simple. You just take those bulbs that will light up and then count the number. Okay, so all these three, because they are connected in, the bulbs are connected in parallel, right? So parallel has an advantage. So if one spoil, the other remaining won't, won't be affected. So there are how many? There are seven here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's see this one blow. So you follow the, so this one can work, right? This one can. This one, yes, right? Then go through here, right? Yes. And yes. So this one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this one blow. So this one, yes. This one, yes. Okay, this side you can, because this one block everything, can you see? So only two light up. This one block everything, right? Okay, this one blow. So this one, yes, yes. This one not affected because it can bypass. So yes, yes, yes. So this is the five. So can you see B and, B and D? So B and D answer is three. Okay, so this question, you have to do it this way. Okay, this one, next one. Final answer is quite straightforward. Answer is one. Do you get one? Brightness or bulb. So let me show it to you. So why is it one? Because P, you see, P is powered by two batteries in series. Next, R. R is actually two batteries in series, but they are shared between this. So maybe the power, right? So let's say uh, this is brightness, two units. This would be one unit, U. Okay, then Q. Q, look at here. Q is one battery, but two bulbs. So it's half of this. So U over two or half U. So answer is one. Okay, so next we will do section B. Okay, uh, this one, you got to flip over to draw this, to draw this. So I give you one in indication here, use pencil first. So this one, I would like you to see that these three batteries are connected in what? In parallel, right? So I want you to put a brief note here. You say that three batteries are connected in parallel. Okay, you just write a brief note here. 
the three batteries are connected in parallel. Then you do this one. I will show you shortly a simple method to solve this. Okay, so I'll let you try. I will pause the video.